solving linear inequalities. So in this video we're going to solve linear inequalities. So first we want to recall how to solve linear equations because uh, it's going to be very similar. Okay, very similar to what we've already done. So let's take a look at that. Uh, part A here, recall how to solve this linear equation. 4 minus 2x equals 8. We want to isolate x, right? We want x equals. Okay, so let's just remember how to do that because we're going to do a lot of the same things with these inequalities. I subtract 4 from both sides. 4 minus 4 is 0. That leaves me with just the negative 2x. I'm going to write it over here. Negative 2x equals, and on the right hand side, 8 minus 4 is 4. And then I divide by the coefficient of x, right, which is negative 2 in order to isolate x. Negative 2x divided by negative 2 is x, so I get x equals 4 divided by negative 2, which of course is negative 2. That was easy, right? Uh, so hopefully you remember how to do that because these inequalities are going to go a lot the same way. It's going to be very similar. Okay. Um, there is one thing that's a little bit different. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this. 3 is less than 6, part B here. 3 is less, less than 6. We should all agree with that. Okay, but look what happens when I divide both sides of an inequality by a number. Now, back to the equation, I divided both sides by negative 2, that was okay. Okay, but I'm just going to divide both sides of this inequality by negative 3. Okay, you're not going to have to do this with just these numbers, but we're going to have to do it in an, in an inequality like down here. Okay, so what happens? On the left side, 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. Okay, I'm going to leave the sign how it is. And ask yourself, is that true? Is negative 1 less than negative 2? That's not true, right? Negative 1 is actually greater than negative 2. Okay, so what happened is when we divide this by negative 3, we got to flip this sign around, right? Because really this is a true statement. Negative 1 is greater than negative 2. Right on our number line, it's further to the right. Okay, so that's something that we have to keep in mind. So I'm going to bring this little note down. You might want to make note of this. Remember to reverse the inequality symbol whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number. Okay, that's really the only difference here in the steps uh, between equations that we've already done and inequalities. Okay. So let's try and put that to use. So let's go down. And also notice that when we solve an equation, we get one number for our answer, x equals negative 2. If I solve this inequality, I should get a set for my answer. Okay, so let's see if that makes sense. Uh, so the process is the same. So I'm going to, my first example here, call this example 1. I'm going to do the same process, right? Minus 4 from both sides. And everything looks the same. So I get negative 2x is less than 4. I divide by negative 2, which also is the same. Okay, but at this point, I've got to think to myself, hold on a second. This is an inequality, so whenever I do this division by negative right here, because that 2 is negative, I've got to flip my sign around. So it isolates x, and then I flip my sign around. I have to go as greater than negative 2. Okay. So everything's the same as before, only if we divide by negative, I flip my sign. Let's look at my second example up here, called number 2. Um, solve this. So subtract 1 from both sides. So you get 5x. Oops, I'm going to change that. That should be an inequality. 5x plus 1 is less than or equal to 2x minus 8. Okay. Subtract 1 from both sides. So 5x is less than or equal to 2x minus 9. Negative 8 minus 1, negative 9. Subtract 2x from both sides. Hopefully you remember this from the previous chapter. Same process so far. 3x is less than or equal to negative 9. That's less than or equal to negative 9. And then the last step, divide by 3. Just like before. That isolates x. 3x divided by 3 is x. And notice on this example, number 2, I don't flip that sign around, right? Because I didn't divide by a negative. So that's my solution. Also make note that this solution are all numbers less than 
or equal to negative 3. That's a whole bunch of numbers, right? That's a whole set of numbers. Just like in my first example, where my solution was x is greater than negative 2. That's not just one number, that's a whole bunch of numbers. Okay, uh, so there's more examples on the next video.